Now, uh, apart from this, uh, what happens is often uh, we are dealing with uh, the kind of situation that we have in JavaScript is that we have a really dynamic variable, like a variable inside which we actually want to put in anything that we want to at any point, right? So, uh, you know, uh, let's say the name of a variable is, uh, you know, uh, a variable called can take anything. And I want to do is, uh, you know, uh, I, I want to write like can take anything equal to number and I want to write can take anything equal to, you know, some string. And I want to write uh, can take anything equal to, uh, you know, some uh, boolean and uh, so on so uh, you know I, I want to be able to set it uh, to null as well I want to be able to set it to uh, you know uh, undefined as well so in this kind of situations what happen is that we can actually set uh, the data type to uh, something like uh, you know uh, number or uh, string or null uh, or undefined and we can keep on writing uh, more and more like this uh, right uh, so if I just uh, write that stuff here uh, for example um, there we go so uh, you still see that this is underlined because now we have not set it to be boolean so how many of them can you keep on writing because we don't know what kind of values can take anything uh, will uh, take during runtime. Let's say that's the condition that we have that that happens a lot of times because we're dealing with JavaScript libraries. We're dealing with some scripts with our, which are written in JavaScript, some scripts which are written in uh, TypeScript, or maybe it's a data that's coming as JSON from a remote server. We don't know what the data type would be. So we would actually have some cases where we really want a, a variable to contain any kind of data types. So that's where the any data type is uh, helpful. We can set the data type to any. So if we set the data type to any, then we can put anything inside it. We can put numbers, we can put strings, we can put booleans, we can put null, we can put undefined, uh, we can, you know, uh, put like an array of uh, stuff as well. And, you know, uh, we can uh, put like an object into it as well, uh, you know, so we can literally put anything inside it if the data type is set to any. So that's the beauty of the any data type. Now, a uh, lot of times when, uh, you know, you take a variable and you don't define a data type and, uh, you know, uh, you keep on writing stuff like this. So this means that this variable implicitly gets the any data type, okay? Uh, so there are ways to actually uh, disable this uh, any data types, you know, uh, and you know, you can, uh, I think uh, there are, uh, there are options for uh, preventing uh, variables to be declared without a data type. Uh, but uh, I, generally, like if you declare a variable and you don't set a data type, and you keep on adding them, uh, any kind of you know data into it. So if you hover over them, you will see that the data type that can take anything has is uh, you know uh, any. So you know right now also the you know data type of can take anything is any. Uh, that's because you know you have not specified anything. The moment you do specify something, then you know everything else becomes invalid. Only this line is actually valid. But uh, if you want to you know specifically say that okay this variable can really contain any kind of data, then the any variable is uh, the useful data type that you can put, okay?